the the money they put aside right is what they call loss reserve right for every dollar they collect right the industry average right now the loss ratio is 60 60 is is continue rising 60 65 percent meaning that every hundred dollar you collect 60 to 65 dollar they have to put in the piggy bank okay and they can't touch it it's not operating it's dollar they collected from you through that process now after a year if you have no claim doing that year process then that 65 becomes unlocked it goes back into working capital the reality comes down to a couple of things i think standing on the part of the insurance space in general is that one is we already hit the topic the correlation to the actual risk is murky at best right a form static checkbox dynamic environment I keep going back an analog methodology to underwrite a digital environment. That's number one. Second, the underwriting, I think, Matt, you kind of mentioned it a little bit. The algorithm of those are typically coming from more traditional asset they protect. Home insurance, fire insurance, like my home insurance, right? I live by a hill, by valley, got a lot of dry bushes. Guess what? I'm a higher risk house than the one that, you know, a mile down the street away from the mountain. Well, the mount ain't moving, my house ain't moving. So the risk itself is constant. It doesn't change from that perspective. Sure. Cyber risk, guess what? It is changing like every single day. But if you take that underwriting methodology in place, all of a sudden you're going to find yourself going, guess what? The underwriting is not working. They end up losing the more claims because somebody have, you might appear to be a safe environment that you're so far away from the mountain, but because of poor security hygiene, you're getting break left and right. So now the loss ratio keeps going up. It goes to 60, 50%, 60%, 65%. It's just a matter of the correlation of the underwriting is not tied into the 